and some ribbon into your wreath. I've got a piece of ribbon cut right here. This is probably a yard and a fourth. And I'm going to put it on my wreath first before I add my bows. So I'll have some loops that kind of come down both sides of my wreath. I'm going to pinch it right in the middle. I like to put my bows over to the left side a little bit. So you can put it in the middle or on the right side. I just, everybody has different preferences. All right, I'm going to stick this right up in here. And it's wonderful working with the spring Christmas wreaths because all of these little stems are wired. I'm just going to twist two of these green stems right over where I'm tying this in. Just kind of bend it around so it'll hold it. And then right there in that spot is where I'm going to attach my bow. So I'm going to pull these just out of the way so I can put my bow up. Now I've got the pipe cleaner sticking out the back of my bow where I tied it. I'm going to point it in and make sure you get a hold of the, the main wire that, that holds your wreath together. I'll put one in and reach down and put the other and reach around behind and just twist it several times. It's real easy to, to anchor it in. And then I just kind of point it up inside the wreath so people won't see it sticking out the back. <coughs> Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is anchor these little side pieces. I'm pinching. And I want it to stick out just a little bit, stick up just a little bit, so I'm going to tuck it right in here. I'm going to bend one of these green stems right over the end of it and, and pull it around. And that will hold it. You don't need any glue or anything else to hold it. I'm going to come over here to this side. And I'm going to do the same thing. Adjust some of these little green stems out of my way a little bit. I'm going to bring it up and pinch it, tuck it into the wreath, and twist another green stem right around that tail. And you can just kind of, since it's wired, you can run your fingers along it and curl it. Now, we've got the two streamers coming out the bottom of our bag. Run your fingers along the wired edge and that kind of makes it curl. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the sides. I want it to come out a little bit. I don't want it to be pulled straight down. So I'm going to pinch it right about here. Tuck it in right there and bend another green stem around it. Now I can see I've probably got my these loops a little bit long. I'll probably have to trim them off a little bit, but I'd rather start out with them too long than not have enough ribbon. Pull this on. And I'm going to pinch this one and tuck it up inside the wreath and twist another green stem around it. And I'm going to go ahead right now and trim these off just a little bit. That's about all I'm having to cut off. I always like to cut it pretty. I just think it looks neater and more finished. Now, my bow looks very pretty like it is. It's in place. It's stiff and it's wired. But just to make sure it stays there, I'm going to grab some of these green stems from the wreath and some of the outside loops of the bow. I'm going to bring a green stem into the loop and kind of tuck it up in there. <coughs> and that just anchors it better. Make sure it's just not going anywhere. I'll do another one back here. One 
from the sun. And then if your strippers get messed up while you're working with your bow, you can strike them back out. Okay. Some of these little green stems are making parts of my bow stick out, so where they do that, I'm just going to bend them down inside the wreath. They don't need to be sticking out right there. All right, that's how the wreath looks with the bow and the extra ribbon added.